Welcome back and happy Selection Sunday. Today the NCAA 68 team bracket was released after the final conference tournament championships were played. Of the 32 teams receiving automatic bids, the Grambling Tigers punched their ticket to go dancing. Yesterday the Grambling men's basketball team defeated Texas Southern to claim their first SWAC conference championship title, which of course means they receive an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. This is the first time that Grambling will make an appearance on the big stage. After accomplishing what's already been a historic season for the Tigers, today the G-Men held a selection show party, a selection show watch party, where they found out they'll be facing Montana State University in the first four. Head coach Dante Jackson and his players are going to make the most of this moment that they know they deserve. Some Tigers even saying this was part of the plan all along. All they had to do was make it happen. Enjoy the moment. Enjoy the moment and just take it all in because it's not promised to everybody. It's only 68 teams that get a chance to say they're going to be able to do this. So enjoy it, have fun, and just leave it on the court. We talk about it every day, you know. Like, we, we have those we have those vibes, like, even before the season started. Like, we have a group chat, with a team group chat called Back to Back Champs, way before the season started. So, I mean, we already knew what, it was, what was going on. We just had to make it happen and continue to produce. It's great for us, uh, you know, to, to go and do this on a, on a bigger stage and show everybody our talent. Uh, I know I'm, I'm, I know I'm making them proud. I know they, they behind me 100 percent, and I, I feel great doing that. I'm very ready. I know my teammates ready. I know they're ready to go to war and leave it all on the court. The Tigers will head to Dayton, Ohio, where they'll face Montana State University in the first four on Wednesday, March 20th with tip-off set for 5.40 p.m.